is so important. We're listening, we're downloading, we're all engaging and we're all thinking and actively consuming art without even realizing it. You're on autopilot. Yeah, and what better way to connect with people again? I'm Angela Young and I am the CEO of Archive Magazine. And I'm Jesse Crew. I'm the CCO of Archive Magazine. Archive Magazine started out as a publication back in 2012, and since then we have turned our company into a full-fledged media agency. We do different types of media that can be from what was print, but now is turning into a lot of live streaming and a lot of things that we are doing online to help our clients out, especially amidst uh, the pandemic that we just had. We're switching Archive Magazine to Archive Creative to better describe what it is we're doing because we're doing so many great yeah. things. Like we're looking forward to a lot of new experiences. Ways that people are just helping to inspire their community. That's what we're really inspired mm -hmm. by. Is you want to feel their passions and their excitement. There's something about watching somebody that's really excited about what they do. And now more than ever, I feel like we're interested in highlighting artists and businesses who are more socially conscious that are that are thinking about the impact that they're making. How has putting public art directly impacted that community? The impact of that, of that mural goes way beyond it just being artwork. One of our most favorite artists, I can't believe we actually had him, was Phil Collins, who has a foundation called the Little Game Foundation that helps support future sports stars by helping fund them in their career. Yeah. The Festa Williams is a good um, example of someone that is doing more. Um, she's an actress and uh, her role is to highlight the LGBTQ community. The same with Mary Mae Hyman from the Showtime show, Shy. My acronym for it is HOT, honest, open, and truthful. Ooh. Yeah, you yeah. can borrow it. <laughs> She's married to my cousin. Yeah, so we're family. So we're, we're also yeah. family. So I was a teacher and Angela was working as a server and I just happened to be working in her neighborhood. We thought we both love the arts. We love supporting the arts. We want to know what's going on. We want to know who the people are. So why not bring them to us? And we need to have, be showcasing more diversity. And that's always been something that's been very important to us showing a diverse array of people on the front cover that show representation and you can see that from our past covers um, so now it's nice to you know to be growing our, our company in a way that continues to highlight that diversity but also the our own local community the arts is one of the hardest hit, hit sectors right now. Um, we have a $4 billion arts and culture industry here in Florida. We have to be the champions of the arts and making sure that they are not going unnoticed. We all collectively come together to do our little small uh, part. It all hopefully adds up to one big overwhelming <laughs> thing that really helps uh, the, the economy and the community.